Welcome to Catalyst's new and improved tasks. I'm Julia, product manager at Catalyst, and I'm excited to walk you through our new task functionality. In tasks, you can now create subtasks to assign out additional pieces of work to your team that fall under the larger piece of work. And you can also comment and not mention your colleagues as you collaborate on that piece of work directly from Catalyst. So let's take a look. You'll see that when I create a new task, I now see that subtasks are available. These can be created once I've added the new task. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a title, add the account and the related object information, a contact as well, and I'm gonna put in a robust description to explain this larger piece of work. Additionally, I'm gonna choose both a start and a due date to make it clear to those viewing this task the timeline. I'll make it a high priority task, and then I'm gonna select a category. Now here we have a few options shown, QBR, project, action plan, and to do. I'm gonna denote this one as an action plan and you can go into categories, go into our task custom fields and configure the fields that are right for you. You'll see here that I'm also choosing an internal support partner and if escalation is needed, which it's not. And I'm also gonna input an objective for this larger piece of work and then I'll add it. Now, once I've added all of my information and the task is created, I can create subtasks. And here you'll see it is just a smaller task where I can input the same level of detail as the parent task. And I'll also put in separate start and due dates because this is a smaller piece of work that is going to be assigned out to someone else. From there, I can fill in my custom field data and add the subtask. And you'll see that it goes right into my parent task. And here I can also inline change the assignee. So I'm gonna reassign this one to Susan and make sure everything's okay and create another one. Now, once the subtask is added, you'll see that we have a nice way to see progress of the task. And as subtasks are completed, your progress bar will start to fill out and you'll see the percentage complete right there in that parent task. Now, with all of this work coming into the task, we need to be able to communicate with those working on subtasks in our larger piece of work, income comments. We can see comments coming in in real time from our team members and comment back using app mentions and emojis to share updates about that piece of work as the project progresses. You can press enter to send your comment and you can either click on the comments button or the hide button to expand and collapse the comments panel. Coming back to our subtasks, we can quick complete from inside the parent task and see that progress bar start to fill up. From here, we can click into our subtasks, check them out and even add additional comments at the subtask level to collaborate with our team members on the smaller piece of work. And we'll see responses to those comments come in in real time. Additionally, you'll see the followers on the task and these are folks who will receive notifications on that task or subtask. Once we close out of the task and come into the tasks table, we can expand and collapse our parent task to see the subtasks that fall below it and check out all the data around those tasks. To get this nested view, you'll want to make sure that exclude subtasks is selected in your filter. Once you unclick exclude subtasks, you'll see a flat view of your tasks and subtasks. And from here, you can click on the parent task or the subtask directly from the table. And to get back to that view, you would just select exclude subtasks again to see that nested view. With that, you're now ready to start building your action plans and QBRs directly in Catalyst.